It's a day to reinforce the importance of a free press after a year when 67 journalists globally have been killed in the line of duty. But violence is only one of the threats they face. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich was arrested in Russia on March 29th. He's being held on charges of espionage, accusations the newspaper vehemently denies. That's appalling, um, and it, it's, a, it's a gut punch. And people are feeling that. It's personal. Uh, and there's also a bigger thought that, as a reporter, this could be you. Al Jazeera has two journalists imprisoned in Egypt, but the network's bureau chief for the Americas had some good news. This guy, Hisham Abdelaziz Gharib, is an Al Jazeera correspondent who was detained in Egypt without trial. The good news is that he was released two days ago. Masi Alinejad is an Iranian-American journalist exiled from her homeland. We understand each other and we have to be united. She spoke about the importance of recognizing the three imprisoned Iranian women whose reporting led to massive demonstrations for women's rights. They are the recipients of this year's Guillermo Cano World Press Freedom Prize. They actually risked their lives and they took action against the Islamic Republic. This is what we need to see across the globe. Otherwise, the Islamic Republic has no reason to stop jailing and torturing its own journalists and activists. Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh is also being remembered with the screening of an Al Jazeera documentary about how she was shot and killed by Israeli forces as she covered their actions nearly one year ago. To date, no one has been held accountable. But the forum was not just about the physical risks to journalists. It also addressed the challenges of maintaining free speech in an era of disinformation and the harassment of so-called influencers online, like Felipe Neto of Brazil, whose YouTube channel has 40 million followers. Being accused of the things I was, I was accused was uh, the hardest thing I ever had to deal with. And um, it's one thing they try to do when they can't corrupt you, they try to corrupt your soul and your image in the eyes of the audience. World Press Freedom Day is about more than highlighting the perils of journalists. It is a reminder that the free flow of information is essential to preserving everyone's rights. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, The United Nations.